The apartment is located in Marvilla, one of the oldest industrial and working class areas in Lisbon. The building has been built in 20th century. It is located in a heritage protected area. As it lies on the top of the building, the apartment follows the shape of the roof and tapers from the half meter to about three meters in the highest point. We are interested in renovations of unwanted and forgotten properties. The main objective was to open the apartment to the surrounding area and take advantage of the beautiful view for the industrial zone surrounding it and the Tagus River. Say hello to our new Never Too Small Essential Guide to Your Living Room, an easy to follow guide to design and improve your current small living space. Packed with expert knowledge and trade tips from our favourite architects and designers like Mariah Burton from Folk Studio, Nicholas Gurney and Jack Chen and Heidi Wong from Tsai Design. Whether you're a renter or a homeowner, and whether you're in the middle of designing your home or simply looking to make some impactful improvements, this guide contains all you need to transform your small living room into a space you will love to spend time in. Discover your own personal style, choose the right furniture for your space, be brave with DIY, make your small living room feel bigger. We will help you do it all. And the best part? You don't have to spend a fortune to make your space look amazing. The Never Too Small Essential Guide to Designing Your Living Room is the first in our Essential Guide series. Download your guide and start creating your very own Never Too Small inspired living room today. The district, formerly referred to as Villa do Mar, which means the village of the sea, has been undergoing recently a deep process of urban regeneration. So we have a lot of old factories being transformed into galleries, creative studios, co-work spaces and artisan establishments. Before the renovation, the apartment was very difficult to access. The apartment had kitchen, two small rooms and the toilet and it lacked the designated space for the bathroom. We altered the staircase that allowed us to enter right in the middle of the apartment and we were able to install a full height door instead of a small gate. We removed all the internal walls and redesigned the plan so that we could create an open plan kitchen, dining and living area and a small bedroom. The space of the previous entrance was transformed into a generous bathroom. The entrance to the apartment is by the stairs in the common area of the building. We covered the walls and door with beige fiber cement panels. After walking through the door, there are a few more steps that lead you to the open plan kitchen, dining and living area. Above the stairs, at the entrance, we installed a big mirror that makes it feel more spacious. The mirror also conceals the fuse box. Two slim windows above help to brighten up the space with the borrow light from the skylight of the common space. We installed a hidden pull-out wardrobe to store coats and shoes. The living room works as an open space, taking advantage of all the available space under the sloped roof. We created two niches along this wall, one that serves as a kitchenette and the other that serves as a sofa. The sofa comfortably seats three and has the same width as a single bed, which comes in handy when the guests stay over. The back wall of the sofa is finished with handmade brick tiles. There's also a small window which brings in a bit of light and extra airflow. Along the entire back wall, we created a storage integrated into the gable wall, containing storage space and part of the kitchen. It is made from colored MDF with mostly push to open panels. The storage wall frees up as much space as possible in the open space and introduces additional insulation to the apartment. The space is illuminated by four new skylights and two dormer windows that offer a lot of transparency to the space. 
In the corner of the living room, under the dormer window, there is an office space with a desk and chair. As the window extends out a little from the roof, there is a bit more vertical space here. The overall lighting is provided by track system in the highest point of the apartment, with the possibility to turn on the lights only for the kitchen or the living room. In the center of the living room is a circle dining table that can sit up to four. Part of the kitchen is fully integrated and hidden in the living room storage unit. The pocket doors open and slide into the unit to reveal the kitchen. It contains an induction cooktop and a range hood. There's also a fridge and a space for a dishwasher. Along the bright window area is the other part of the kitchen. It is white with a white countertop made from a composite stone. The white continues the white of the ceiling and walls. It contains the sink, oven, storage and some additional counter space. There is also an additional hidden storage behind the white kitchen. The sleeping area is a compact space that can accommodate a double bed and additional storage space. There is a skylight above the bed which allows you to see the stars at night as you lay down. The skylight has a blackout blinds from the inside and the UV blinds outside to block the sun. There is a closet for clothes by the door and additional storage which was made using the space above the common stairs. The new bathroom is a light and clean space with all the necessary functions. The shower, although located in a nook, receives lots of natural light from the fluted glass window in the corner of the shower and by the opening in the custom-made vanity. The vanity is custom-made from metal and wood. It acts as a piece of decor, but also a divider for the shower. The mirror cupboards not only provide additional storage and hide away a washing machine, but also reflect the light coming from the skylight. The skylights can open up to allow airflow. It can be flipped around for easy cleaning. When designing a small apartment, the key is to optimize the space without compromising the comfort. Also, filling the space with the natural, borrowed and reflected light is very important in order to create the feeling of openness and spaciousness. Renovation is a really important process that gives a possibility not only to improve the functionality of the space, but also to upgrade the performance of the sometimes very outdated buildings, which gives the opportunity for more people to be able to use the city and use its life. Thanks for watching. And if you're an architect or designer with a project we could feature, please share it with us at nevertoosmall.com slash submissions.